What's going on guys? Jordan for Flyers here and I am bringing you episode number 32 of the Pokemon Diamond Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, we made it through what is probably one of the more boring stretches of the Sinnoh region from uh, Route 216 to Route 217. We're still on Route 217 for now. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be picking up a couple of encounters before we make our way over to Snow Point City, where our next order of business is going to be to take down the seventh gym of the game. I'm not 100% sure if we'll get all the way through the gym in this episode, but we will see. Uh, I did look up between episodes, and Candace's ace is going to be in the realm of 46 or 47 levels. So, I don't know. I feel okay, but not too, too great about where I'm at with levels right now. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out once we take on all the trainers. But let's hop right into a team recap. Up first... We have got Titduck the Magmortar leading the team at level 42, holding that Flame Plate, Quiet Nature with Flame Body, and Lava Plume, Faint Attack, Sacred Fire, and Cut. We of course have Crush Your Wake's Worst Nightmare, Coop Lucario holding that Fist Plate, Naive Nature with Inner Focus, and Aurasphere, Iron Head, Rock Smash, and Bone Rush. We of course have our starter, Totem the Executor, holding that Mind Plate, Gentle Nature, with Chlorophyll, and Energy Ball, Leech Seed, Psychic, and Wood Hammer. We have Avmees the Beedrill, holding that Toxic Plate, Relax Nature, with Swarm, and Bug Bite Assurance, Twin Needle, and Poison Jab. We have Buzz the Umbreon, holding that Dread Plate, Gentle Nature, with Synchronize, and Strength, Stone Edge, Faint Attack, and Night Slash. I gotta say, last couple of episodes of actually getting to use Buzz, he has come in handy a number of times, so I am very happy now that I have added Umbreon to my team. Very happy. Uh, and of course, we have Pelipper on our team for now in place of Geraldine the Lantern. Uh, Pelipper has Hardy Nature with Keen Eye and Fly Defog Surf and Water Pulse, but he won't be thrown into a battle anytime soon. <laughs> okay, we are here right away to start off the day with an encounter. So... For Route 217, I don't believe we have a repel up. Our Route 217 encounter is going to be... Seedra! <gasps> Dude! That means I can get a Kingdra maybe if I can get a Dragon Scale! Dude, that's awesome! Okay. Uh, we will be back when this thing is damaged. Okay, as long as this strength doesn't crit, uh, it should be okay. And I will... I am once... Ooh. Why did that health bar move so quick? <laughs> uh, I am once again on a timer here because, of course, of the hail. So, I think I have about four turns-ish to capture this thing. I am going to switch out, though, because if this thing brines me at this point, that'll probably kill. So, I'm going to switch into Totem, and then we'll try capturing it. Okay, so I only have five Great Balls and one Pokeball. So, I perhaps should have stocked up on Pokeballs before I went on this little journey to the north. Then again, I guess for these two encounters, the hail puts me on a timer anyways, so, I mean, the amount of Pokeballs I have won't really matter. But we have captured the Kingdra, which is fantastic. Uh, by Kingdra, I mean Seedra, of course. <laughs> I'm just anticipating the Kingdra. Um, I want you guys to know, if I do ever get a Dragon Scale, I am immediately swapping Kingdra for Lantern. I'm... I'm sorry to those of you that like Lantern over Kingdra, but I love Kingdra so much. Uh, that being said, I don't exactly have a good nickname for Kingdra, so give me a sec. <laughs> okay, so I'm on a website right now called ultimatereef.net, and this guy says to people, Alright folks, let's hear your seahorse names! Uh, and this is what he's got. Mercury, Neptune, Apollo, Orion, Juno, Calypso, Athena... Venus, Asterix, Asterix, really? Okay. Aphrodite, Ophelia, and Ember. Um, now, those are all just pretty generic, you know, otherworldly names. Um, as far as a female Kingdra goes, I actually really like Calypso. So I think I'm going to go with that. So, we have got... Calypso, what is currently only a Seedra, but I am so looking forward to getting a Dragon Scale if that ever happens. <laughs> okay, so we're just doing a little more trudging in the snow. Uh, there's only like a couple more trainers, if any, to come. 
Uh, I guess there's one right about here, actually. So, we'll have this guy and, like, I don't think there's many others after this, if there are any. So, I do still have some amount of confidence that we will be able to get through at least most of the gym in this episode. But for now, we're beating down far fetches with tit ducks. <laughs> I really do need to switch Tit Duck out of the lead because Tit Duck's level is getting just a little bit high. Uh, but for now, we are just going to sacred fire the shit out of the far the far fetched and stuff, and I'll miss. Oh, this might actually hurt, kind of. Uh, I I should perhaps not lose a mag mortar to a far fetched, so I will actually switch out now. All right, I anticipate that this aura sphere should do, you know everything that I want it to right now. <laughs> it has been as of late, so let's see it murder a far-fetched. Goodbye. You poor little duck, you. <laughs> if I ever get a far-fetched for an encounter, I do need to remember that I also have his stick as an item, so <laughs> I suppose that is some kind of option. But up next, we are fighting a Tropius, and I am going to switch into... Uh, I'm gonna switch. I really want to use Beedrill. Because really, I do need levels on him. Screw it. I don't anticipate a Tropius can one-shot a Beedrill with, like, Air Slash or whatever it'll have. <laughs> I have probably a little bit too high of confidence of this. So, let's see how this goes. It is level 41. Uh, let's see how a Poison Jab does. I am faster than it. Uh, I would kind of appreciate a one-shot at this point, but it's not going to. I uh, actually came much closer than I thought it would, and I do get the poison. Not that that matters much. Whirlwind? Really? You were that scared of my Beedrill? <laughs> Alright, well, I'm into Tit Duck now, which is kind of unfortunate with how much damage I have, but I'm just going to heal up and murder this thing. All right, and then the Slava Plume is going to do it. Um, in the interest of full disclosure, it's Synthesis, so that's why the Hail and Poison combo didn't take it down, so... Whatever. It's all good. Tropius is dead. Tit Duck gains even more experience. I'm getting this feeling that Tit Duck is going to be my leader going into the seventh gym. But, uh, first of all, we need to take down a Furret, which should not be much of an issue. Sure, let's throw Beedrill back in! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Coop's sitting there like, Really? Come on, man! I have Aura Sphere for this shit! <laughs> um, I don't... I once again don't anticipate that a Poison Jab is gonna do too, too much. But let's see. It's just a... Why are you resting already? It's just a Furt, so let's see. I'm, I'm guessing like a third of the damage. Oh, okay. I'll take that. So, one more Poison Jab will do it. I'm... I shouldn't be as pleasantly surprised as I am, given that it is still only half damage on a Furret. So, really, all in all, I'm still slightly disappointed, but it's a Beedrill. You cannot expect much. <sighs> There's a very, very small part of me that kind of enjoys the fact that I'm using Beedrill <laughs> over, you know, Glaceon, Larvitar, other incredible things in my PC. <sighs> I enjoy my stupidity sometimes. Uh, one other thing I, I meant to mention at the beginning of the episode, but I did do yet another round of underground hunting between episodes. Uh, unlike previous underground hunting attempts, I did actually get recordings of this particular round of underground hunting. I feel like that's what I'm going to do from now on when I underground hunt, because I usually do that immediately before I record an actual episode. Uh, so... <laughs> I don't know, I'll record uh, some underground hunting just as highlights if I ever need to. Uh, but some notable things that came out of the most recent run of underground hunting. Um, by the way, I'm scared of this Nido King. Uh, I should be okay, I'm just going to super potion. Uh, but two notable things that came out of the most recent round of underground hunting was that A, I found not one... Not two, and two were in the same room, by the way, but three red shards. So, yay, whatever TM that was, we're a little closer to that now. Uh, and also, 
I finally managed to find a splash plate. So, I mean, that's there for Geraldine to take. I, I will definitely give Geraldine that over the life orb because my, my team holds plates, damn it. Uh, and also, you know, in the event that I possibly get a Kingdra in the future, that'll be for that too. So, I'm definitely happy. Uh, I'm unhappy with the fact that there's... Yay, flame body. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm unhappy with the fact that this Needle King is trying to murder my Magmortar, but it's not going to do that now that it's burn. And also burning with Sacred Fire. Um, I am going to heal and then we'll worry about killing this thing. Okay, and in this case, the hail plus the burn is actually going to take down the Needle King. So, I guess I... This is t t still technically me murdering it, but I didn't need to worry about putting in the finishing blow this time, so... Goodbye, Nido 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 King. You know, I notice more and more as life goes on for me that my stutter just continues to get worse and worse. There's Flamethrower, by the way, baby! Okay. Love it. 95, 100. Goodbye, Lava Plume. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, so, I was once again wrong last episode. It wasn't level 44, it was level 43. I did check between episodes, by the way, so I kind of knew that. Also, I completely missed what he was sending in, so I'm just going to send in Beedrill. <laughs> because I can. And before this is Wobbuffet. It's Marowak, okay. Uh, does Marowak get any, like, rock moves by level up? Because if not, I kind of feel okay just staying in. Uh... My other question is, does ground resist poison? I... I'm not 100% sure about that, actually. Let me try a poison jab. That's one of those that I'm actually not too sure of. Uh, ground does, in fact, resist poison. Okay. Cool. And the Marowak is thrashing now. And is this going to really, really hurt? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to switch out real quick into Lucario. Alright, and this particular Aura Sphere is going to have no difficulty finishing off this Marowak. And I I do super want to say that that is all the trainers from here until Snowpoint City, so I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll be able to prove that in about three minutes, but for now, Avmi's is another level. Yay. Um, so, I... I don't want to spray a Max Repel, but at the same time, I might as well, because I don't think encounters are very good for me, considering my team is very beat up right now. So I'll, I'll spray a Max Repel just to get to the other side of the Acuity Lake front, and then we will worry about getting the encounter. Uh, I do believe there is a hidden item in one of these, though. Somewhere? No? Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, so yeah, these uh, Galactic guys are just blocking the way to the event with uh, Commander Jupiter and Nick. So yeah, they do in fact intend for you to do the gym first. Which, of course, I've already mentioned. So, you know, we knew this. Nest Ball. Woohoo. Maybe that'll be useful in my encounter. Who knows? Uh, I feel like this is all the grass. So yeah, I'm just going to run around here for a sec. Wait for the Repel to run out. Okay, Repel's run out. Uh, while I'm thinking of it, I am going to switch Lucario into the front because... I don't know, I kind of feel like Rock Smash is going to have the best use in encounters. So, our cutie like front encounter is going to be Ponyta. That is real unfortunate that I'm leading with Lucario right now. Son of a bitch. Well, we'll be back in a sec when this thing is damaged, as per usual. I'm only just now realizing I also have 15 Ultra Balls, so I don't know where the heck I was looking, but Great Ball! <laughs> I'm super unhappy with this Ponyta, by the way, because it was hurting me with Fire Spin as well as the Hail Damage, and I... By the way, I caught it. Uh, and it was also stomping me, so, like, all I have left is Super Potions, and it kept bringing me, like... It kept hitting me with about the same amount of damage as Super Potions were replenishing, so I didn't have many turns to capture that. So, oh boy. Uh, excuse me while I name this pony. Okay, so for this one, literally all I did was Google awesome horse names. The first thing that came up was Whirl Away. I actually love that for a Rapidash. 
I'm gonna immediately name it that. Whirl away the pony duh for now. Um, so, uh, we have got two horses in this episode. One of the water type and one of the fire type. So, yay. Uh, and with that, we are now officially in Snow Point City. Uh, I do believe there are one or two items to be had somewhere. I believe in this deep snow over here. Uh, or do you give me something? Nope. It's on the other side. Uh, and before we head into the gym, I am going to do some business in the Pokemon Center as well as the Pokemart. So, can it, uh, wait for that. Another berry in the snow. What is with this? <laughs> okay, so I will be right back. I'm just going to get ready for the gym. Okay, I've done my healing. Geraldine has been placed back onto the team with a splash plate. And I did a whole bunch of selling at the shop. Uh, I think I am ready. Let's do this. So, uh, once again, there are a number of trainers in here, so as per usual, I'll try and knock all of them out immediately, and then we will worry about the puzzle that needs to be done. So what kind of levels are these guys going to have? This is going to be actually kind of difficult levels, I would imagine. 39. Okay, that's actually not too bad, uh, but... Like, the ones with only one Pokemon are going to be, like, level 42, so... Yeah, this is... This is going to be an interesting gym. <laughs> interesting, as in, it'll be interesting to see if I can make it out alive. <laughs> um, so, yeah, once we uh, battle through all the trainers, I will determine then if uh, I deem my levels suitable to take on Candace, because, again, her ace is going to be a pretty high level. So, we will see. We will see. But, uh, Beedrill almost just one-shot a Meganium, and then poisoned the- Beedrill has been amazing at poisoning things! Have you noticed that? I kind of love it. Uh, I don't appreciate the Petal Dance, but I kind of appreciate that it's quad- or er, quad-resisted. Bug does resist grass, right? I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, but one Bug Bite is going to finish this thing off. Om nom 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 nom. Goodbye, Meganium. So, yeah, I think there's about eight-ish trainers in here, at most. So, we'll see how it goes. Licky Licky, uh, I do want to try and use Geraldine as much as I can, because Geraldine's a little bit low-leveled right now, considering he uh, took a spot in the PC for a little while there. Uh, but I don't anticipate that a level 40 Licky Licky is going to be able to take a surf too well. A now splash plate boosted surf. Let's see how much this does. And if the splash plate has any amount of difference to it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's a three hit KO instead of a four hit KO. Uh, I don't really appreciate the rolling out, but at the same time, two more surfs is going to kill this thing, so we'll be fine. Or it could just miss that rollout. Okay, we're going to murder the Licky Licky now. Goodbye. <laughs> You know, I actually didn't think that was possible to miss, like, a second or a third rollout if you had connected with the first one. I thought it was, like, a continuous thing that didn't miss. I don't know. I'm I'm thinking of something else, obviously, but Geraldine has finally made it to level 40 and is... Well, I might keep it in for now just to get the experience from this particular Machamp, but I am probably going to switch into Totem. My thought is, does this have any dark moves? Uh, would Beedrill be better? No, it would not be. <laughs> never ask that question. Beedrill's never better. Uh, I am going to switch in Totem. Yeah. Um, if this Machamp has, like, no guard cross chop or something, that might still hurt. Oh, and it does, in fact, have no guard cross chop. How much is this going to do? This is resisted. Okay, that's not so bad, to be honest. So, I have faith, even if it has, like, assurance or something like that, that I'd be able to live any one move if I didn't outspeed it. But I do outspeed it, and I have faith that this Psychic is going to do all of it. Get out of here, Machamp. Go away, Machamp. Yo, dead, Machamp. Goodbye. Okay, so... Tra trainer number one was... A little bit on the difficult side, but we took him down. It's, uh... 
Definitely a lot more challenging these days now that all of the trainer's Pokemon are fully evolved. But once again, I only have myself to blame for that, so I'm not going to complain. Gotta love a good challenge, right? Or something like that. Alright, Clerk Pansy. With a bee drill. <laughs> okay. I kind of really enjoy that. Um, but this thing is not going to be able to take surfs very well. Yeah, assurance me all you want. You're not going to damage me very well either. Despite the fact that I'm pretty sure Beedrill does have actually like a somewhat decent physical attack stat. But yeah, he's he's going to go away now. Oh yeah, so Beedrill does learn Poison Jab just by level up. So I guess that TM for Poison Jab that I picked up wasn't actually something that I used on Beedrill. It was just... That's a new TM that I found, so I guess that's kind of cool. But Geraldine gained some experience from that. Not too much, because once again, it's just a Beedrill. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go up here and then down here. Uh, there's bound to be another trainer right there. It's too cold. Well, too bad, because you're going to go down. Yay, making fun of people stuttering even though I stutter may, many, many, much more than other people like I did just then. <laughs> I'm going to switch into TikTok or something. And then I realized that this is just a good opportunity for Beedrill. And when there is a good opportunity for Beedrill, you use Beedrill. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Sunflora. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to continue to swap Geraldine to the battle just to get all that experience i would appreciate it would be I, I would appreciate it if it was caught up with the rest of my squad um arbok doesn't learn pursuit right that'd be the only thing i'd be worried about at this point i know i can also just heal but i don't like using potions that's something i've not really made note of i'm not one that enjoys using potions i don't know why i'm just i'm very money conservative so i guess that's i guess that's probably why right there but uh, I am now going to switch into Lucario. Okay, and this thing has a stockpile up, so this Bone Rush honestly isn't going to do too, too much. Yeah, this is going to take a couple of turns. So, I don't know. We'll see what we can do in the first turn. Two hits! Of course we get two hits. And it's going to turn away into stockpile! Alright, that's three stockpiles, so... I, I appreciate you just prolonging your death, Arbok. That's real appreciated. But... If I can get a lot of turns of Bone Rush here, because I've got nothing but two hits so far. Watch this also be two hits. Nope, that's three, and that takes down the Arbok. Okay. Also, I'm just saying, when they introduced the Dark Type in Gen 2, they totally missed the opportunity to make Arbok a Poison Dark Type, because that's totally what Arbok should be, in my opinion. Or like, Poison Ghost, Poison Dark, something like that. I don't know. I feel like... The face on Arbok's belly should totally indicate a different typing. Uh, also high. I I definitely misspoke when I said there were like eight trainers. Because there's definitely only like five now that I'm looking around. <laughs> but uh, this person also only has one Pokemon. And it's Sceptile. That's kind of a yikes. Uh, I'm also really not leading with the right thing. But not that I really care. Because I can just switch into Avmi's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love using Beedrill when I can. <laughs> what can this thing do to a Beedrill? Oh, it can Screech me. Despite the fact that is this is a grass type, that honestly is kind of terrifying, that Screech. But let's see Poison Jab. Slam. Oh my gosh, if that had actually connected, that might have killed, to be honest. That was possibly careless. I'm not too sure, but possibly careless, but... Oh, come on! And I do get the poison. Holy crap, Beedrill. You are real good at that. <laughs> Goodbye, Sceptile. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, I do believe that there is only one trainer left. Um. And. I don't know. I don't know if I feel safe going right to Candace after this battle. Considering all I have, assuming Geraldine levels up this battle, all I'm going to have is 
a bunch of level 41s and a level 43. I, I would assume. But, oh, hi, Kingdra again. I might have you one day now. <laughs> Yay. Um, I don't know. It it would be a gigantic risk to take on Candace. I know that. But, I, I kind of feel like with the team that I have, that I would be okay. I don't, I just, I'm... I'm so not sure if I should take that risk. I'm going to be taking on level 46 or 47 Pokemon. If that ends up being like another freaking Toxicroak, that can easily obliterate my team. Forget Toxicroak. Imagine if it's like a Heatran or a Dialga. Like, it's probably a really, really, really bad idea to take on Candace. But, tell you what, if I get... If, first of all, if Geraldine levels up to 41, plus if I get at least level 42 on two other of my Mons, I'm going to take on Candace this episode. Uh, Koopa's going to be one of those level 42s right now. And, uh, Geraldine does not grow to level 41 just yet. That is one of the stipulations I am putting on myself right now. Uh, ah, Koop wants to learn close combat. You know, it is kind of tempting to get rid of Bone Rush because it's kind of lost a lot of its use. At the same time, that is the only ground move that I have on my team right now. So it does come... It It, it is kind of useful at times. I, I'm at the point now where I'm wishing I'd got rid of Rock Smash. But you know what? This Lucario is actually... Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, this Lucario is actually a special attacker. So I guess it's not so much of a bad thing. Typhlosion! Jeez, okay. That's, uh... Keeping it at about the same notch as Kingdra, but... <laughs> it feels like it's kicking it up a notch. Um... Again, Geraldine is just in for the experience. Geraldine will grow to level 41 with this. Uh... Now, I'm kind of at the point where I just want to stay in with Geraldine, because I don't think I have much else for a Typhlosion other than Buzz, possibly. I do have Stone Edge on Buzz, actually. Maybe I'll just do that. Okay, that's good. I don't believe Typhlosion gets any fighting moves by level up, so... That's about the only thing that might hurt. Flame Wheel shouldn't do too, too much. Even from a Typhlosion, I like the defensiveness of Buzz. And honestly, this Stone Edge should wreck house. Oh, why would you defense curl, you bitch? <laughs> Come on, let's see the Stone Edge kill. I would like it to... Um, wow, that still only did a third. And that's a stone edge that we're talking about. That's, once again, Buzz, I'm disappointed. I know your offensive stats are a little weak, but still, slightly disappointed there, buddy. But, as long as this stone edge does enough, I should be okay to just, uh, nah, I'll just do one more stone edge and hope that it connects. The Typhlosion isn't really doing much to me. It's throwing every possible move it has at me, and that Lava Plume did quite a bit, actually. Jeez, if that had crit, that would have been a dead buzz. That's kind of opening my eyes to what a risk it would be to, uh... take on Candice right now. Oh, boy. Yeah, none of the rest of my team is at level 42 right now. So, you know what? I think with that, I am going to call it an episode. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just not feeling safe enough right now to take on Candace. So, yeah, we're going to leave it there. I'm going <laughs> to stand here with a mustache dude, greet the next person that comes in. Uh, but in the next episode, uh, you will see a bit of a grinding montage where we get our team up to level 44. I'm going to deem that the level that I will deem acceptable to take on Candace with. And then we will get our 7th gym badge and proceed from there. <sighs> I'm just, I'm not feeling safe enough right now, man. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Let's have more fun next time.